So today, I'm going to be sharing something that happened to me and how God healed me. I had PCOS and I had psoriasis. If you don't know what PCOS means or you don't know what psoriasis means, you can just go to Google to read about it. So let me talk about the PCOS first. I was bleeding every day for four months. My career did not stop. And this is how we started. Right. My career didn't come for almost a year. And I didn't care because if you're a woman, you know the stress of menstruating. It's a blessing. God, you thank you for making us like that. But you know how some days before your period, you start to feel really dizzy, bloated, you have different emotions. Then your period comes, you have period acne for some people. Then after your period, you go through all sorts of things, your body asking you for things like also some people go have menstrual pain, but I've never had menstrual pain in my life. When I didn't see my period, I didn't care because in my head I know that I'm not pregnant. So <laughs> I, I know that I'm not pregnant. But I was just like, oh my god, I get to see my father, I don't get to see blood. Um so the first month, the second month, the third month, the fourth, the fifth. I was getting a little concerned. So when my period eventually came, usually it's always like three to four days. So when the first four days was over and it didn't stop, I thought, oh, okay, it will be accumulated period. <laughs> like, because it has not been coming, so it's not going to be So I was like, okay, uh, the fourth day, the fifth day, the sixth day, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth, the tenth, the eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, what? like wait what's going on and this is also why i'm sharing this apart from sharing the fact that god can heal is also we go through so much and we bottle it so much as humans because you don't know if somebody else has gone through it you don't even know the i didn't even know the name for it all that kept coming to mind was what i know that i have read in the bible the woman with the issue of blood um i didn't know anybody Nobody, I didn't know anybody that has gone through it around me, so and I didn't want to say it out loud before people start to look at me like I'm a weird woman, like what woman keeps menstruating and does and the menstruation is not stopping. I didn't want to be tagged that you know, that girl that is always menstruating and stuff. So I just kept it to myself. I didn't tell my mom, I was gonna tell my mom, but my mom is I the thing is I don't like to bore my parents or anything. And I know that my mom, my mom, my mom will always first look at things from the spiritual point of view, which is good. But I don't want to put my mom through anything like fasting and praying and wondering like what's all wrong with me. Of course, she would tell me to go to the hospital, but I didn't want to put her through all of that. So I just kept it to myself. When I tell you that it was like they opened tap, like if you have ever had this before, you have an idea what I'm talking about. It's like you open your tap to the highest. And it's just shh, and then the heavy lumps like like dropping the thick black of the blood dropping like endlessly and here and there you feel dizzy and stuff. Um so I change my sometimes I use like two packs of sanitary towel every day. Um there was a day when I I was I was in my sister's house and I slept and I didn't want her to know that I was bleeding non-stop so I woke up in the middle of the night and the whole bed was full of blood and I had just changed my pad before going to sleep so it literally looks like how you know when a child bed wets and then your clothes is stained and the bed is stained I was embarrassed I immediately got up and started cleaning and cleaning and squeezing, you know, I was crying, like, what is this? When is this bleeding going to stop? And literally, you are scared to sit down, you are scared to even put on clothes, you are scared to go out because you don't know if you are going to be seen. So I had different embarrassing moments. I was tired of going through this, so I decided to call my friend who is a medical doctor because I also started feeling dizzy. So I asked her, I said, please, what blood tonic can I use? I'm always feeling dizzy and stuff. She was like, you know how doctors don't just want to recommend a drug for you unless they know what is wrong with you. So she was like, what could be wrong? Come in for checkup. I'm like, no, I don't want to come in for checkup. So after a lot of pushing and pushing, like, what's wrong with me? And I told her that 
I don't know if I'm okay, but I've been bleeding for that time was almost four months. Almost four months. And she was like, but why did you wait till then? Like, you have to go in for checkup immediately. I'm like, no, I don't want to go. I don't know what because now at this point I was scared. Like, what are they going to tell me? I had a thousand and one thought running through my head. I was really scared. So she just told me she she said no, i'm going to pay you have to go and see a specialist blah 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 by the time i got to the hospital and doctors are asking a series of questions he said it can either be serious uh, i said serious and pcos it can be fibroid and it can be and um, pelvic cancer this was the cancer that i didn't want to hear when i had cancer i was like god you better not be cancer <laughs> So I was like, okay, we're going to check gynecologist. Yeah, I went to see a gynecologist, and um, by the time we we're doing the test, I was praying in my heart that it's not going to be cancer because I didn't want to hear cancer. Um, then eventually, when the test result came out, it was PCOS, and you know, had to be hormonal imbalance, different things, also because of the state of my heart. That's why when you're happy everything in your body is functioning well when you're unhappy that's when sickness is and you give room for these things honestly you can google it you'll see anyway so at this point it was like okay i'm going to do this i'll do that for you blah 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 so one morning i woke up with anger in my heart like and i be carrying blood everywhere <laughs> like it didn't make sense anymore stealing costumes all those things was just not making sense to me. So I said, God, today I'm not going to wear any sanitary towel. If I, if I, um, if if this blood is going to keep running, let it run and stain me, and let everybody see that I have a father who is just looking at me, having blood all over my body. But today I'm not going to wear it. And it was a really, <laughs> it was a huge step of faith for me because. It was I was really scared that not if I'm just carrying blood in me and that they intentionally wore right. So as I was even having my bath, there was still I could feel like small small blood when I finished uh, when I was clearing my body and stuff. But I still went. I got in the car. I got on set. I didn't pay attention to it anymore. I was just about my business. By the time I was going to change my costume, I realized that there was no blood. And I was like, God, you did this for me. You did this for me. I thought, okay, maybe, okay, let's just wait till the end of the day. The end of the day, there was no blood. The next day, there was no blood. The next day, there was no blood. Like, the whole week, there was no blood. Two weeks, there was no blood. I was like, what? I wept, I was crying, I was like, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, I was really happy. So when you see people adding weight, you don't know why people are adding weight, so you don't have any right to come and start telling people that you're fat, you're fat. Literally, people that always say you're fat, you're fat, I always feel like slapping their mouth, I have to be honest with you, because you don't, you think that it's just food that make people add weight, you don't know what they're going through, you don't know the health issues they're going through, that is making them add weight, you don't know the drugs they're taking that is making them add weight, you don't know anything, and even people are adding they leave them you, you don't think they already know they are fat you don't think so my heart goes to people that has one health issue or another god is the god that's with you you for food you don't have to pay a dime so if only your faith can carry it imagine that i didn't do that crazy faith that day i was like okay i've had enough cuckoo give me that kind of thing like i'm not wearing jack today let the blood flow <laughs> right and yeah god honored my faith um, so the other part of it is, please watch today. The other part, I would even share like I can't share clips of these things because I wasn't even recording it, and it would be so gross. So, but the other part is the psoriasis part. is a skin condition. I have some videos that I would attach to it, or pictures. I think I still have some pictures. Um, so it's just like having dark spots on your skin, and if you know me, you know that I hate seeing anything on my skin. <laughs> People have obsession with designers, with this and that. My obsession is skincare. So that's how I just had this thing on my skin. I was wondering what it is. I went to see a dermatologist. It was so bad. I thought it was an acne at first. Then I went to see a dermatologist. And when I saw a dermatologist, she said that 
a psoriasis. I'm like, what does psoriasis mean? She said, oh, it's a skin condition you have to live with it for the rest of your life. I said, what? <laughs> she said, don't worry, there are quite a number of people that has it. Um, Kim Kardashian has it. I'm like, who is Kim Kardashian? <laughs> I don't care Kim Kardashian has it. That's a oh, kidney. Yeah, no, so no, the way she said it, yeah, I think maybe she just thought that was supposed to help me like feel better. She was just obviously trying to help me feel better. But I'm like, I don't care what has it, even if she's the president of the world, that's <laughs> it's any condition I have to deal with the rest of my life, I don't want it. So she told me it can be managed, but what about what you have to watch your diet, you have to do this and this. She just told me a bunch of things to do and some products I have to keep putting on my skin. So I remember always buying and buying this thing. One day I just said to myself that, ah. so these are all buying this thing. They told me that the skin condition I'll be managing. So I said, okay, let's manage it. Never. I said, I have a long life ahead of me. So is this how I'll be managing? And I just told myself that never. This thing has to go. So I started to, you know, to, and because people who knew me before that time, they would now start asking me that, ah, Juliana, what happened to your skin? I'll keep saying acne, acne, because I can't start explaining psoriasis. Like, and it was so bad, it was on my neck, it was on my chest, it was at my back, it was literally like everywhere on my body. So I now started praying, I started putting communion on it. So I said, I will not use money to buy this thing again. So I prayed, I used communion on it. I kept praying, I would be confessing that this thing disappears, my skin is without blemish, my skin is this and that and this and that. And I stopped paying attention to it until one morning I decided to, because it was so bad, I hate, you know, like when you have a mirror in the bathroom, you wouldn't usually see yourself. I hated looking at the mirror because I didn't want to see all those things on my skin. So I got up one morning and I just realized that it has vanished. And I didn't have to buy anything because I stopped buying those products for a long time and I knew that there was nothing else but the finger of God, it was nothing else but the hand of God and since then my skin is crystal clear <laughs> so yeah this is just to let you I'm sharing this to let you know that God does heal you know and I remember I was telling somebody I said the beautiful thing about God is that God heals and he heals completely you don't see the sky it's like people give sharing testimonies about how God took away fibroid from your womb and do it no scar but if the doctor has to operate on it he gives you a scar but God heals without any scar and God heals for free like you don't have to be dying ah so please this is just a challenge and it doesn't matter what you're going through with your health even if it's your skin anything God God wants you to have to enjoy life and and to to be happy and it's concerned even when i had that drop on my hair i remember that I was using every product my hair started falling i said what i said well this year has to stop and it stops so even the littlest things you know that you feel like ah, i'm not pray about this it's not about winning so for the, for the kingdom of god so it may not it may not matter to god it matters to god so pray about it i want to challenge you to trust god with everything and also my I, I'm really trusting God with you that whatever like health issues you are going, you are going through or dealing with, maybe um, your physical health, your mental health, I pray that God would come through for you and that God would heal you. I hope that this, <laughs> I hope that this story has built faith in you in one way or the other. It might not even be health or anything. Just keep your faith up always and. Let God know what you mean. Nothing is too carnal to ask God, and nothing is too spiritual to ask God. If you can think about it, if you want it, ask Him, and He will come through for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. <laughs> Please share this video with anyone you think it will help. Like, share, leave a comment, <laughs> turn on your notification bell, and subscribe. Until next time, be well.